It's June 1st, 2022, and I thought I'd give you a quick update and let you know what I've got planned for the summer. So I think I mentioned it a few times in my Compose 31 Pieces in 31 Days challenge, uh, but I was working on a bass clarinet solo before that started, and yesterday I finally finished the first draft. I know it's, it'll have some more changes that I have to make, and I did start recording a video kind of documenting that whole piece, and I wasn't necessarily great at keeping up with that, but I might put together a little something to share that with you later. All right, so first some updates before I give you some summer goals. In the last month or so, I've gotten two new pieces of gear that I'm excited to kind of dig into and get to know and hopefully incorporate into my solo ambient tape loop rig. Um, so let me show those to you. I mentioned this one in my studio tour video, but I have this uh, Arturia Micro Freak, and it is awesome. Made some really cool sounds with it, and I'm, I'm excited to dig in even more. But it's got it's cool. It doesn't have actual keys. It has these sensors instead, and it kind of just changes the gameplay for it. And yesterday, this came in the mail. An Electron Model Cycles. It's kind of a drum machine, but it also has some synth things. It's an FM synthesis based machine. As I was working with my tape loops and my synth and stuff, I just felt like I needed something like a drum machine. Not necessarily to use, you know, have pulsing drum beats like EDM the whole time, but you know, occasional percussive elements. Uh, also, big news, I'm going to be teaching some classes at a local community college, the Nor Northwest Arkansas Community College. If all goes to plan, I'll have five composition students in the fall. So that's really exciting. I haven't actually had like regular students since I quit teaching five years ago. I'm not looking to teach full time. I still love composing and setting my own hours, but this will just be an extra little bit of supplemental income and, you know, fun. Uh, a chance to leave the house every once in a while. Another update uh, is that I created a Patreon. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's a web platform that's made for artists, musicians, creators in general, so that they can reach out directly to their fans who can back them each month at certain levels. With each increasing dollar amount per month, you get added perks, such as for mine, you can start at just a dollar level, which is just like, hey, I appreciate what you're doing. Let me help you do it more. Um, then you jump up to the $5 level where you'll get access to music that I make, like music downloads. At the $10 level, you can have access to all of my music and use it in your own personal media. So like if you make movies, you make podcasts, at the $10 per month level, you have access to my music that you can use like a royalty-free music library. Then once you get to the $30 and the $50 level, I add occasional physical mail outs like merch. It might be a tape, it might be a shirt, who knows? And if you've been watching this and you're kind of curious how I do stuff and you'd ever like to talk with me about it or maybe have a coaching session, at the $50 level, uh, I make myself available to give you lessons over Zoom or a phone call or whatever. Anyway, if you like what I do here and you'd like to see more and maybe get some access to my music, then consider backing me on Patreon at patreon.com slash Drew Morris Music. Uh, there's a link in the description. So I mentioned that I wanted to give you a rundown of some of my summer plans. Um, chances are I won't do all of these, but I just sat down one day and made a list. So I'm going to tell you about them. Uh, I do intend to make videos about some of them. If there's anything I mentioned that you'd really like to see a video about, let me know in the comments and I'll probably do that. All right, going to my notes. My number one goal is to go through and get all of my scores to my music uh, redone because I have that nice new laser printer and I want to just do all my printing at home because if I print my sets and scores of my concert band music and percussion ensemble stuff at FedEx or whatever, like a score costs me 10 bucks to print because of the full cover score. But if I do it at home, I can do it a whole lot cheaper. So I'm reworking my score covers so that they're less reliant on color ink or color toner. So that's number one, because I want to, once I get my production happening 100% in my house and a little bit cheaper, then I'll be able to reach out to distributors like Midwest Sheet Music, JW Pepper, things like that, and actually get my music in there so the band directors and musicians can find my sheet music easier. I've thought about doing a video detailing how I put together sheet music. Uh, let me know if that 
would be interesting to you. So I loved how creative I felt after my 31 pieces of music in 31 days challenge. And I don't want to do that this summer because it took too much, but I am hoping, fingers crossed, to put out like a video a week through the summer, most of which would be like those 31 and 31 videos where I just decide, all right, today I'm making a piece of music and document the whole day and let you hear it. So look forward to that. I'm hoping to get that started maybe next week. In a recent video, I also mentioned that I'm working on a marimba solo book, like for developing musicians, people who have maybe just learned four mallet grip for the marimba. So that's one of my big goals for the summer. I grew up playing trumpet, and it doesn't get much more simple than that, where you show up to the place you're playing, you open up the case, you put the mouthpiece in, and you play. Now, I love synthesizers and stuff like that, but sometimes setting up for a rehearsal or a performance takes longer than the rehearsal or performance itself. So I'm hoping to take this suitcase and turn it into my mobile solo rig that will be filled with whatever I need. And hopefully it's just, I basically show up, I plug in one power cable and one set of audio cables to the speakers and just, I'm good to go. So maybe that'll happen this summer. Another musical goal for the summer, I'd like to spend some time on my 80s synth album, because back in March I wrote two pieces that sounded totally 80s and synth-based, and I've started working on two other pieces, trying to turn that into a little album. Because, I mean, the 80s are cool, synths are cool, and I like what I came up with for those two days of work back in March. So if I can take another couple of days, weeks, put that together, Maybe I'll have a new album to release. The last four things on this list, and I'm sure I'll add more later, aren't actually music related, but I'd like to get back into drawing. Maybe some of it would turn into pieces that would be on my album covers or things like that. Uh, I'm trying to get running again. <laughs> if you watched some of my vlogs from a long time ago, I talked about how I had a goal to run a 100 mile race. Well, shortly after I filmed that video, I threw my back out. I keep I keep doing that. I guess I have the back of an 80 year old, even though I'm not even 40 yet. But I'm trying to get my spine active again so that I can walk and then do some running, maybe run some more races in the fall. This time of year, I always get interested in gardening again. So I've got a little something going with some herbs, some strawberries. So I'm wanting to tend to that. And the last thing I'm hoping to do this summer so far is writing. So I have a novel that I wrote last November and I'm hoping to finish the second draft of that. I also have a collection of five short stories that I've written randomly over the past several years and they're due for a second draft also so that I can release those. One of which I'm wanting to record some music to go along with and it would make available as one of those tiers for Patreon. It's about a guy that finds a synthesizer on Craigslist and I'm not going to say any more because I would spoil it but I feel like that's pretty on brand for this channel. So if you're interested in checking that out, consider backing me on Patreon and maybe you'll get a copy. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to give you a quick update of what's happened since I talked to you last and what I'm hoping to have happen in the next couple months. I hope you'll come back and check out those videos. I'm trying to be regular about these throughout the summer. So hopefully I'll see you next week.